Hello, my name is Dr. Jay Ebedat at South Bay Wellness Center. I wanted to congratulate you for you making it so far up to this point. I understand that for you to continue with this, you need to follow and make your appointment, next appointment and follow appointment through for us to go through the exam evaluation and let you know to see if you do have a neuropathy and how bad your neuropathy is. Before we're doing that, I wanted to explain to you that that neuropathy can be as a result of almost 100 different reasons. Some could be as a result of diabetic, some could be as a result of side effect of medication, a side effect of injuries, um, spinal cord injuries, some side effect of chemotherapy, radiation, and some these days some side effect of coronavirus, vaccination, or perhaps getting the virus. But some of the neuropathy could be as a result of idiopathic, which means there is no um, information regarding how and what causes your neuropathy. In those cases, it, the biggest things for us is to first to make sure that, that you do have a neuropathy and is the treatment we offer is work and help you to restore your nerve damage. Before we go through that, I'm going to explain to you what would be as what would be the nerve damage. For example, most of the time, the damage is to the nerve ending, the bottom of your feet or your hands. For example, if you look at my hands and you consider the palm of your hand as the the nerve cell, and all these fingers as a nerve, the blood supply to your nerve. And in the case of neuropathy, as the time goes by that these blood vessels that go into the center, which is the, the nerve cell, is shrivels and it start deteriorating after a while. Initially, you may not have a symptom as the blood supplies and these blood vessels shrivels and deteriorate, you lose the blood supplies into the nerve. As we know, most of the supplies to the body is most of the organ in the body will require to have some type of blood supplies which will bring the oxygen nutrition to it. So perhaps that not having the blood supply into your nerve cell that causes the damage the nerve and deteriorate the nerve. Now, based upon all the injuries and all the problems we, we know that we have throughout our life, we have noticed if you cut your hands or break the bone or anything else, Blood supply helps to heal the process by bringing fresh oxygen to nutrition. So therefore, body can generate newest blood supplies to the area by, by encouraging it to increase blood flow to them. So therefore, with what the therapy we offer at the, in the case of neuropathy is to encourage and increase blood supply, which is perhaps would be encourage oxygen nutrition to the nerve cell and therefore body will produce this new blood supply to the nerve and nerve become healthy. So at, so at this point, I'm encouraging you to make, make your next appointment. Let us go through the evaluation and exam. I'll allow you to let you know that how much the damage, if there is any neuropathy, how much percentage of damage to your nerve is. Unfortunately, nerve damage can become to the point that is not reversible, but hopefully you get to us before, before you get to that point so we be able to, to reverse that nerve. I know most of people with neuropathy have symptoms such as tingling numbness, pain, burning, feel heaviness, um, and, then, and then sometimes a cold or feet, uh, cold, cold or hot feet. And then in the end result is loss of balance. As you know, when you lose the balance, when you don't feel the bottom of your legs, you will have a hard time to be able to walk and keep the balance and therefore that can cause a severe damage to the body as a result of fall and injury. So again, I'm encouraging you to make your appointment and follow through. So hopefully we're looking forward to seeing you in the office and taking you through the exam and be able to evaluate and see if we can help you and help you to recover and restore your nerve damage. Looking forward to seeing you and I hope to see you soon.